We have some breaking news at the top of this hour. The Australian Competition Tribunal has approved ANZ's $4.9 billion takeover, dollar takeover of Suncorp Bank. Join me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, this ruling is a blow for the ACCC, which said the deal would essentially reduce competition in the banking market. Now, ANZ has won on appeal. ANZ's won on appeal uh, at the Australian Competition Tribunal. So, basically, this deal was first announced back in July 2022. That's when ANZ proposed this merger, buying out Suncorp's banking business. Remember, Suncorp's going to remain as one of Australia's biggest insurers as a separate company. So, ANZ are only after Suncorp's home loan book, which is worth about $67 billion. So, ANZ want to expand their home loan business, and they saw buying Suncorp Bank's business as the way to do that. Now, that was blocked by the ACCC in August. August last year and now it's gone to the Australian Competition Tribunal and we've got a quote from the Chief Justice there or the Deputy President of the Tribunal basically saying the Tribunal's concluded that the small increase in the market share of ANZ if the proposed acquisition proceeds would not have a meaningful impact on the degree of likelihood of the major banks engaging in successful coordination. So, in other words, they're saying this is not going to reduce competition within the banking market. And they talk in their judgment as well about the rise of Macquarie Bank as becoming sort of the, the fifth major bank in Australia that writes home loans. So this deal is a... Well, this is approval, basically, now goes to Treasurer Jim Chalmers. He's going to look over it, and in the coming weeks or months, we'll make a ruling on whether this will go ahead. But it's a huge win for ANZ Bank, and it's a massive win for Suncorp as well. Uh, well, look, we're too early to see the share price reaction, Laura, but I'd expect share prices will go up pretty strongly today off the back of this deal. And I think in ANZ's case, it's also... The, the chief executive, Shane Elliott, has been there for more than eight years now. I think he was waiting for this to be resolved. We could potentially see movement on the executive front at ANZ within the next year or so now that this deal is approved by the competition tribunal. Yeah, OK, the market's just been open three minutes, so we'll wait to see where the dust settles on uh, any movement in share price uh, for another couple of minutes or so. Ed, let's shift topics in the meantime. Mining giant BHP has posted its worst half-year profit in eight years. Of course, that's weighed down by billions of dollars worth of impairment charges. Yes, so it's really all about the nickel business in Western Australia. Last week, they flagged up some serious costs or impairment charges from that nickel business, which have have weighed down BHP's profit significantly. So we've got a chart just showing you these massive costs that they've been hit with in the past six months. Samarco is the Brazilian iron ore venture. That's costing them $3.2 billion US dollars. And then Nickel West, which is the WA nickel business, that's $2.5 billion US in write downs, almost $6 billion US dollars. If we go to the next page, we can quickly look at their profit results and you can see um, revenue was, was up to about $27 billion US. The underlying profit was flat, but the net profit was down 86% due to those huge impairment charges and the dividend for shareholders was down by 18 cents to 72 cents per share. But the dividend is apparently higher than expected. So they have paid a higher dividend, but the profit has been cut back significantly, Laura, uh, due to the difficulties in the West Australian nickel business. Ed, thank you.